Greg here with TechAge. Uh, we're with Jacob Freeman with EVGA and uh, CS 2017, and he's going to show us uh, their new products. Yeah. Jacob? Yeah, so uh, what we have here, well, first of all, we have a lot of stuff to show here at CES, uh, but starting kind of right here, we have a... Uh, water cooling ecosystem, mm -hmm. if you will. It's uh, basically different components, different radiators, different CPU blocks that uh, all have quick disconnect connectors on them. They're all pre-filled with liquid. So you can mix and match these components. So you can add that CPU block plus this radiator, plus another radiator if you want it, or another GPU block um, to really kind of customize the water cooling loop to your system. And it also makes upgrading components uh, a lot simpler. So no need to drain, everything's pre-filled. Uh, we even have this extension tube here, which uh, is also pre-filled. So, uh, you know, makes it really easy to increase the length of the tubes if you need to. So we'll sell uh, different size radiators like you see here, CPU blocks, GPU upgrade kits, even graphics cards that have the, uh, the connectors right on top there. So when your graphics card comes out, you could just uh, pull the old one out and plug in this one with the quick disconnects on and that's it. You have plans to sell just the water blocks? Yes, so uh, we'll have uh, just the water blocks them by themselves, like this one here. This is a, this is actually for the GPU. Oh, nice. And then we will have uh, CPU blocks as well, which is uh, this one here. So uh, this also has software that goes along with it for the CPU. You can change the colors, RGB, uh, LED, of course, at CES 2017. You must have RGB, I heard. <laughs> it's a theme. Yeah, so um, uh, USB here. Uh, you can change the fan speed as well and uh, monitor the water temperatures, things like that. So. Very cool. So the pricing on this? We're still working that out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, it's, there's a lot of components here, so it'll be obviously like the radiator price mm -hmm. and uh, you know things like that. So we're still kind of working that out. But before we get to the quick disconnects, we will have closed loop solutions as well, which will be at a lower price point. So this is a 280 mm -hmm. um, size, and this one will probably be uh, maybe 149 ish or so, maybe lower, but somewhere around there. Um, so if we're still working on the pricing for these, is there an ETA on when they'll be out? Yeah, so we're looking at uh, probably February, March time frame for the quick disconnects. Oh, nice. And then, and then um, these, the, the um, closed loop stuff will be earlier, so uh, maybe as soon as late this month or early next. Okay. Very cool. All right. So this is a new, uh, you may not have noticed by looking, just looking at it, they look like a lot of our previous cards. However, However, these are quite a bit different. So this is a new uh, card cooling design that we're working on. It's called ICX, and um, it's a improved cooler. Obviously, you have a new design backplate, but there is a lot of tech under here that we're not quite ready to share. <laughs> uh, we are still working on that, and we will have more information probably late January about okay. this. Um, but there is a lot of patents that we're working on in this, and a lot of really cool technology that we're looking forward to sharing pretty soon. And these are just the 1080s and the 1070s. So we'll have 10, Will that be across the line? Yeah, 1080, 1070, 1060. So you notice the naming FTW2 previously was FTW and S Super Clock 2. Yep. Previously Super Clock. And this guy? Uh, this is our new laptop. So SC15, 15 inch laptop. Um, uses a uh, G-Sync panel, 1080p, 120 hertz. So high refresh rate on that one. Uh, it is a uh, GTX 1060 in there. It's KB Lake 7700 CPU. So latest architecture as well on that one. Um, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 memory. Um, you know, so it's a, a continuation of our laptop line. This is a, obviously a smaller form factor, smaller, lighter. It'll be a lower cost as well. I haven't finalized, quite finalized the pricing on that one yet, but it will be uh, quite a bit lower than our existing 17-inch uh, GTX 1070 model. So probably going to start shipping this one in June time frame. Okay. That's what it's looking at right now. In a Q2. Yep. Very cool. <laughs> and I see you have a Vive set up. These will run yep. virtual reality? Yeah, so uh, GTX 1060 is uh, what you need for VR. So uh, seems like a perfect platform for VR. <laughs> yes.
Last year we launched our TV So, new case? Yep, so this is our DG7 case. Uh, we launched DG8 um, earlier this, earlier last year. Uh, it's a, that was a full tower case, pretty large case. It was actually probably mm -hmm. this tall. Uh, this is a mid-tower case, DG7, so tempered glass on the side here. We have a PSU cover, mm -hmm. can support up to four hard drives, a combination of 2.5 and 3.5 inch hard drives. Um, Fan filters, has pretty robust radiator support as well on the top and along the front, USB 3.0 of course as well. Okay. And uh, probably gonna start shipping this one late, maybe Q2 time Q2? frame. All right. uh, we're still kind of fine tuning some of the details, but it's, it's mostly there. Um, and yeah, target price point around $150 for, with the tempered glass. It's competitive. Yeah, and as we were talking about earlier, the front panel does not open, so this is kind of what you see, what you get. Yeah, so there's no um, drive base mm -hmm. uh, for, I mean, we, we wanted to reserve that space for radiator support. Yep. So on this particular case, there is no optical drive base support. It's good. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> All right, so we have motherboards. Yep, so this is our Z270 lineup. Um, we have three motherboards. We have Stinger, which is the mini ITX. We have FTWK and Classified K. Kind of follows a similar model to what we had with Z170 in terms of the boards, the board lineup. There is a few differences though. Our Stinger, we added uh, Wi-Fi. So it has a uh, 802.11ac uh, plus Bluetooth. Uh, we also added U.2. So we have a U.2 port right here. Uh, there's an M.2 along the back as well. Uh, so you have uh, pretty good storage support there. If you go one step up, we have the FTWK, which uses, uh, obviously it's a ATX form factor, bigger, bigger motherboard. Also has the killer networking on that one. Okay. And then one step above that is, of course, our classified motherboard, which has Creative Core 3D audio, so improved audio, has the, uh, again, the killer networking. This one uses the E2500 killer networking, which is their new yep. networking chipset. And um, yeah, so that's, uh, of course, U.2 on, uh, on that one as well. So all of our Z270 motherboards have U.2 support. Okay. And availability? Availability, uh, the FTWK will be coming later this month in terms of uh, availability, and then the classified and the Stinger will shortly follow. Okay, very good. So now we're at power supplies? Yep, so power supplies earlier, I, oh, I keep wanting to say like earlier this year. Actually, it was last year. Uh, we uh, launched the uh, G3 power supplies, mm -hmm. which is our latest generation of gold. It uh, brought a new fan. It's a fluid dynamic bearing fan, lower noise level, a smaller form factor, 150 millimeters for a 1,000 watt power supply. That's actually really small mm -hmm. and um, better efficiency. So what we're introducing at uh, CES this year is uh, B3, which is same idea, smaller designs, more efficient. Um, new fan as well as fluid dynamic bearing fan. However, these are bronze, so okay. bronze rated power supplies. Um, fully modular, of course, uh, at a lower price point. Similar features to the G3 uh, at a lower price point. And is that available now? It'll be available later this year. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Jacob, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Uh, enjoy CES. Yeah, you too. Thank you. <laughs>